Bless the morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone, depending on what part of the world you are in right now. Like I always say, by God's grace, this is indeed a beautiful day that the Lord has made, and we must always rejoice and be glad in it. Um, the joy of the Lord is our strength, and it will continue to be our strength. Um, I wanted to share a quick word of God with us today, and I pray that, including myself, that we will be blessed in Jesus' name. So a sister of mine in Christ, we were watching, uh, she introduced me to the movie, Why the Nativity? And um, honestly, it was about the birth of Jesus. It was about Mary, Joseph, you know, all the wise men, King Herod, the world, us, you know. And I know it is, you know, Christmas season, it's the festive season, um, and as we were watching the movie and we were discussing through its stages and, you know, even in watching that, it was enlightenment, um, there was deliverance. And I, and I, you know, when we go to the book of Luke chapter one, you know, when the angel had appeared, angel Gabriel had appeared to Mary, right? When you read from verse 26. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women? But when she saw him, she was troubled by his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. <laughs> and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. And will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know a man? <laughs> Jesus. And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy, that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. And indeed, Elizabeth, your relative shall also conceive a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. 38. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to the word. And the angel departed from her. And I, I put myself in that shoes. I told my sister, I said, sis, it is possible to be perfect by God's grace. Mary was perfect. I mean, this is a woman that was chosen by God to birth Jesus, the savior of the world. And I began to think how pure she was, even in her thoughts, in her demeanor, in her character. She was so pure. She was so pure. She was a virgin. She kept her temple. She kept it. And I began to ask myself, Zoe, no, it is possible for I, Zoe, by God's grace, to be perfect in the eyes of God and to walk in perfection before man, to edify the body of Christ and bring glory to the kingdom of my Father. But I have to daily be dying to self continually. I have to daily make up my mind. I have to make sure that my body is kept as the temple of the Almighty. I have to make sure that I'm walking the fruit of the Spirit. According to Galatians chapter 5, I have to make sure that each... By the help of the Holy Spirit daily, that I am crying, Lord, rid me of self, of pride, of lustful desire, of the things of this world. I have to be willing. I have to be willing. I have to be willing each and every day. One thing about Mary, besides the fact that she was pure, holy, she was perfect in every way. She yielded to the word of God, to the will of God. She submitted herself to the will of God. 
and, and I began to ask Zoe, what role will you play? In your, what role will your marriage play for the kingdom of God? Or is it Joseph? You know, Joseph, he also yielded to the will of God. At first, it didn't make sense. But when the angel of the Lord appeared, Joseph eventually, he aligned in the will of God. Brother, sister, you want to get married? What is your marriage going to do for the kingdom of God, for your household and the world? What? They kept focused. They were focused. They were focused. What are we focusing on? After the wedding day, after the bling wedding ring, after the, the makeup, the dresses, the food, the celebration, people come to them. What next? What next? Even on your wedding day, can it bring glory to the name of the Lord? Can it bring glory to God? Your home, your life, everything that you do, can it be can it bring glory to God? If it cannot, then we need to have ask God for mercy and go back and retrace our steps. I began to ponder so many things. I began to search myself. Lord, please continue to read me. Continue to read me. Read me. And when Mary became a ridicule, because, I mean, she was carrying Jesus and they could not see it. They were so blind. Daily Jesus is in our midst, but we can't see him because we are too busy, too occupied with the things of the world. May God have mercy on us. She was carrying the Savior, the Messiah. That was prophesied about. too busy we are too busy that we do not see him when he comes by when he passes by may god have mercy on us may god have mercy on me mary was ridiculed but she knew she had those convictions she knew what her assignment was and she was focused on her assignment she had the peace of god that surpasses all understanding she had the help of God, each and every day, she was strengthened from within. She was strengthened. And then she had a helper, Joseph, who also understood the assignment and aligned in the will of God. And together, they were heading according to the prophecy. They were walking in the prophecy. About the birth of Jesus, Savior of the world. Who is ridiculing you? Who is rejecting you? Hold on to God. Rejection is God's own way of saying wrong direction. And he is preparing you for a new season, a new phase of your life. As soon as, you know, Mary and Joseph, they got to Bethlehem. And you can think about, I know it wasn't a smooth ride. But they kept their eyes on the assignment they were focused they held on to god they knew he had their backs and when they got to bethlehem it was almost time to deliver our lord jesus christ savior of the world there were no rooms see if there were rooms available then the prophecy it would stain the prophecy but Joseph kept going to places to look for a room to, so that Mary can give birth to the Messiah. But there were no vacancies. There, were, there was rejection. No vacancies. Rejection. It was in alignment with the will of God because Jesus had to be born in a manger. The Messiah had to be born in a manger. It wasn't a comfortable place. So where are you in your life right now? Those rejections that you're facing, those no's, no's, no's that you are hearing everywhere. Let it keep you focused on God. Just trust God through those pains, through those rejections. Hold on to God. Through those pains, hold on to God. Come on to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Now the question is, what is your assignment? 
even in your home as a wife as 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 a young lady courting or single lady what is your assignment why you are waiting on God in the waiting room? Are you fulfilling your assignment? Brother, are you fulfilling your assignment? Husbands, are you fulfilling your assignment? Your thoughts, is it aligned to the will of God? The things we say, the things we do, are they in alignment with the will of God? But if they're not, it is never too late. God is ever faithful and merciful. May God help us. We have to get to the point that we say, God, my life is yours. Let my life bring glory to your name. Let my finances, uh, let my children, uh, let my intellect, uh, let everything about me, uh, about my household, uh, let my car bring glory to your name. Uh, let my home bring glory to your name. Uh, let my beauty bring glory to your name. Uh, let my fashion bring glory to your name. Uh, let my gift, everything, uh, everything that is in me, let it bring glory to your name. Uh, everywhere I go, let it bring glory to your name. Uh, the way I talk, the way I walk, uh, the way I carry myself. Uh, Lord, let it bring glory to your name. May God help us. May God really help us. Mary was found worthy. Are you worthy? God, am I worthy? Find me worthy. We have to be willing. See, we have to walk in partnership uh, with God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus. There has to be a mutual agreement. Uh, Amos 3, 3, again, to walk together unless they agree. Our daily prayer should be, God, find me worthy. You found Joseph worthy. You found Mary worthy. You found Elizabeth worthy. Elizabeth was worthy. She was found worthy. Lord, find me worthy. You found Miriam worthy. You found Aaron worthy. You found John, Matthew, Luke, Peter. You found them worthy. Find me worthy. It is a privilege to be found worthy by God. It is a privilege to serve God. No, in serving God, we are not doing our pastors any favor. We are not doing our congregations any favor. It is a privilege. In matter of fact, it is for us. You're doing yourself a favor. You're doing, I am doing myself a favor. Nobody else. Because we will have to give an account for everything that we do. Everything. May God help us. So in this season, let us remember why this season has come about and what role we ought to be playing in this season it's not about the decoration those are good those are fine. it's not about the christmas gift that we wrap under the gift or under the christmas tree no. it is not about the christmas carol everywhere that we go we plan to travel to no it's not about the food no it is about jesus we must always remember that despite everything at the center of it all it is about jesus May God help us. So in this season, when God comes searching, when the Holy Spirit comes searching, when Jesus is knocking and he needs, he needs, he needs a servant, he needs someone who will rise up in the place of prayer as an intercessor when he's looking for warriors, um, will you be available? Will you be ready? Will you be found worthy? My prayer is that God finds us worthy. In Jesus' name. And everything that is holding us back from being found worthy. God help us. Deliver us. Son of David. Son of David have mercy on us. Save us. Here we are. We humble ourselves Lord. Deliver us. Our deliverer. Order our steps Lord. Redirect our path. Please help us. Have mercy. Thank you Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May God bless us, continue to keep us. May his face continue to shine upon us as we go about our day. And everything we do, let's remember to put God first. Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. God bless each and every one of us. Be safe out there.